Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about why the projectors are expensive. And beneath me or beyond, uh, behind me, you're seeing an Epson projector. I've opened it for you. I made the cleaning of this projector and I reviewed it. It was about $25. Can you believe it? In the secondhand market and it is pretty bright. It's about probably 2400 NC lumen. Uh, I didn't measure it, but still the brightness looks similar because Epson is around 80 to 70 to 80 percent generally on the on their declaration. So we're not going to be focusing on the light source and the image quality. That's my other video, the review. We're going to take a look at the inside and why we are paying kind of like a high money compared to the cheap LED projectors. And is it worth to have? against the cheap LED projectors around $100, $150. And what are the reasons? Let's just return it on the way. So the camera returned and I'm going to fly over it. Okay, this is the Epson model that I reviewed earlier. And this is the light bulb uh, that you're going to see on the right gives around uh, 2,500 lumen of light and light hits here and separates from here to 45 degree angle and then optically just concentrate it again and bounce from this mirror to this LCD around this side. And again, some of the light will be passing through this semi-transparent or of course, probably transparent glass and it will be coming to this optical element, the lens, as you can see, it's a lens, it's not just a flat glass. And then it just, comes here with concentrated and goes uh, reflecting from here to the LCD. And then it goes around again, reflects from this angle. So we got a three LCD, one, two, three, and light source just separates from each channel and goes in. So this is a three LCD Epson setup. That's normal for this setup. But the, why this setup is kind of like compared to the LED new generation projectors are expensive. Let's take a look. The brightness is 2,500-ish NC lumen power, which is probably much more than you're going to see in 200 to 300 NC lumen levels pro a lot of the uh, projectors until $200 range when it comes down to the LED or smart new generation projectors. And the first thing is first, the cooling. How cool is that? One fan is here. Second fan is here. Third fan is going to be the side here. And the fifth fan, uh, sorry, the fourth fan is here. And the fifth fan is in this tunnel. So we got one, two, three, four, five fans, five fans to cool down the system. I know you might be thinking, hey, this is a bulb and it's a hot stuff. Yes, it is. But still, they have the system. So this is much more complicated device compared to the LED small projectors. LED light source, let's just go back a while. LED light source is easier to focus than a bulb. Okay, so when you put the LED like this, it just fires straight light. So it's not going to be spread it like uh, at least a bulb style light source. So if you have a LED, you have a less space to focus the light and it's going to be much more easy. But even though if you're going to use three LCD setup, even with the LED or laser light source, it should be something like this. Because if you're going to talk about the Epson 3 LCD technology, it should be something like this. But if you're going to talk about one light source and one LCD or screen panel to uh, put the light through, then you're going to be, you know, able to do it with the one LED LED and not much of this sort of reflectors and optics and stuff. You're going to use much less stuff and the cost will down. But this way, the colors are better because you're going to send light from each uh, LCD for different colors, RGB, right? So that's why maybe the Epson models are much better on the color side when, when you're, we are talking about the three LCD and also the color fringing when on the fast face action around the edges is a lot less and you can't probably see that problem. So that's why the Epson, some of the Epson models are expensive, kind of like. So get back to the topic and we're going to get back. So what else, what else do we have? What else do we have is we got a big lens here. Let's take a look. This is my four finger, okay? Still it just 
underneath but you can see the lens lens is big and we got a zoom function many of the led projectors small projectors don't have this and we got a focus ring which you can really feel and uh, understand where you are on the focus and you can stop easily so it's not going to be wobbly like the led small cheap projectors and don't forget about this if you go autofocus it's near impossible for you to you know put the focus where you really want when you have a remote control and that they have to be successing on the autofocus section so if you are going to buy an autofocus projection it should be good. Otherwise, it cannot make the exact focus. So you have to trust the brand and the quality. That's why I test the autofocus systems a lot. And I made a dedicated video about autofocus projector and kind of like a potential problems out of them. And if you're going to go too cheap, you're not going to be probably having a lot of steps, you know, for each focus step. So it could be problematic on the long run. And when you first open it, you might be thinking like, hey, this is kind of like softer. So that's why still there is a place for uh, bulb or let's just say classical projectors in the market. And there are lots of reasons as well, because they are much more brighter than small LEDs, uh, small LEDs around real life. After the tests, a lot of them around 200 NC lumens and starting from 220 to going up top like 450. So they are not going to be producing around 2000 and above NC lumen volumes, which you really can use in a dimly lit or semi lit, maybe even if you have a good screen in a lit environment. So brightness is an issue if you want to really play TV style visual and still LEDs are not catching up, especially in the cheap area. If you're going to go above 500 to 600 dollars, depending on where you are and the text and region and stuff, but still you can you can't really find the same brightness and same resolution priced similar compared to the LEDs, lasers and bulbs. And bulbs have nowadays around 10,000 to 15,000 lamp lives. So it's not going to be a very short life cycle for a uh, bulb projector too. And the bulbs are kind of like a $50 generally, starting from 25 to going up to 50. If you're going to buy a cinema version, then you might be thinking about the $75 lamps uh, in the aftermarkets or uh, spare markets like other brands. If you're going to go for original, your bulb cost may be higher, but if you're going to go with the other brands, just spare as a spare part, no problem. So I made another video about how you can change the bulbs, how much it's cost and uh, comparing the original bulb against some other brand and how it affects the visual quality. I made all these things in a separate uh, review or guide video. So you can check that out. So what, what do you think? You can write that down at the comment section below. By the way, what you have seen, let's just return to camera. In this video, this Epson model, I reviewed it uh, early in the channel. It was about $20, $25 and I cleaned it. I used the picture out of it, showed it, compared. And I even used it with an ALR screen. And the only thing that, that is lacking, uh, of course, it, it has a VGA instead of a HDMI new style. So you have, you have to figure out converting from a VGA to HDMI if you want to connect anything. And of course, uh, it should be connected to a laptop or a mini PC. It might not work with your uh, probably dongle uh, because dongles are not really supporting from HDMI to VGA or they might not support the resolution like uh, X in G, uh, GA kind of like uh, PC kind of resolutions. This is not 16 by 9, 4 by 3, but still gets the job done and you will be happy with the results for a cheap price. I hope to see you in the next video. Let me know what you think at the comment section below. If you want to learn more or if you have advices about to teach people what they should be looking for, uh, so you can write them down at the comments and we can share the knowledge together about the projectors. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.